Overcrowding and climate change could one day tempt some of us to swap Earth for a new Martian home. But could we cope with the move? Our physiology has evolved over millions of years to suit life here on Earth. When we leave it for the extreme, hostile environment of space, things go a little bit weird. And to reach Mars, we'd have to travel further from Earth for a longer time than ever before. One of the main hazards we'd face is radiation. Away from the protection of the Earth's magnetic field, astronauts are exposed to cosmic rays, which can bombard tissues, cells and DNA, causing harmful long-term effects like cataracts, increased chance of cancer, sterility and cardiovascular disease. And radiation isn't the only health risk. In space, the gravitational pull is way less than on Earth. This microgravity environment can be great fun, but it takes a toll on our bodily systems. On Earth, gravity pulls blood into the parts of our body below our heart. But in space, without gravity, fluid moves into the head and chest, contributing to what's known as puffy head, chicken legs. Well, not quite like that. That's more like it. Without gravity to resist, our bodies become sort of lazy. The heart has less work to do to pump blood around the body, so it shrinks and weakens over time. It's the same for other muscles, with astronauts typically losing around 20% of their total muscle mass and strength on a six-month mission. And the skeleton transforms itself, with bone tissue reabsorbed by the body at a rate of 1% for every month spent in space. That's similar to what happens to people who have been bedbound for a long time or who have age-related bone diseases like osteoporosis. The plus side is that these findings are helping us to better treat patients with musculoskeletal problems here on Earth. For now, the best way we have to counteract these effects is exercise. Astronauts spend up to two and a half hours a day, six days a week, doing resistance and aerobic training. But exercise can only do so much. So scientists and engineers are contemplating remarkable inventions to help astronauts cope with the microgravity. Like this centrifuge, that would provide astronauts with regular exposure to artificial gravity, reducing muscle and bone loss in low gravity environments. So, human trips to Mars might be on the horizon, but don't pack your bags just yet. We've still got quite a bit to learn about the physiology of space travel before we get to enjoy our new Martian lifestyles.